Hello Aries, how are you doing? Welcome to Still Love Tarot. I hope all is great with you. What are the vibes at this time, Aries? Thank you for everybody that is liking and subscribing upon entering. If you haven't, please do so. What are the vibes, Aries, at this time? If you're interested in a personal reading, especially moving into the new year, we could look at your money, all right, and definitely look at some of the things that are going to be important for you moving into the next year. So if you're interested in that, that is something that I'm actually going to put up on my website, like new year readings. So we'll see what spirit has to say with that. What's going on with Aries at this time? What do they need to know? Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus signs. You can make anything happen. Anything that you really want to happen, Aries, you can make it happen. Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus signs. All right. We have the magician in the mirror. You are the magician. All right. You are the author, literally. So, and don't let this go over your head. Literally, whatever it is that you desire, right? Whatever position you want to be in life, remember this is your story. Make it happen. You can make it happen. You have the tools to make it happen. And this energy reminds me of like, like a Taurus energy, right? And that could be one of your heavy placements in your chart. But I know for my beautiful Aries, I know for next year, Taurus is going to be heavy in your second house, right? Or your second house of money is going to be very dominant. Let me put it that way. And it's going to be very important in how you eat, how you think, how you process things, right? And also how you go about making money, right? How you go about working with other people in the workplace or just how you go about creating your own work environment, okay? So Aries, this is going to be very important for you, this energy over here. Knowing that if it, this situation, whatever situation that may be in your aura right now, whatever situation that's making you feel uncomfortable or making you feel a little bit tense right at this time, you have the power and you have the tools to change it and fix it. All right. So that's the energy here in the current vibration for you, Aries. Let's take a look at love and see what's happening in love for Aries at this time. Spirit is also saying right now is it's better to think before you speak, right? For some of you, it's like it's better to keep your plans to yourself. Work on manifesting it on your own as opposed to speaking it, as opposed to sh oversharing it, right? So I feel like that's like the most harmonious thing for you at this time here. And just know that you're loved and you're supported, Aries, at all times, even if it doesn't feel like that at times, right? Even if things are going sideways, you're loved. What are the vibes for love for my beautiful Arians? Aries. What's going on with love currently with Aries? Pay attention to red flags. Pay attention to yourself here. Now, I don't know. I'm getting like this tense feeling with the situation right now. The signs are cautioning you, right? Like I said earlier, I feel like it's a good time to sort of think before you speak, right? Think before you go at this time. For some of you, you're getting an indication about, should I go on this date? Should I go and meet up with this person? Should I move forward with something? And it's very important for you to sit back and really just listen sometimes, right? When you go wherever you're supposed to go or wherever it is that you want to go, be sure to listen. It's going to be very important here. Now, I do feel like there could be a situation in the home for a lot of Aries, or if it's not within the home, a situation when it comes to love at this time, you may feel like you're not being heard. Like, I feel like I'm not being heard. I feel like there's a lack of understanding with my with my lover, the person that I'm connecting with. So there's a lot of emotions. You could be connecting with a Capricorn or a Cancer or like a Taurus Virgo, but there's just this energy of like, I don't feel like I'm able to express my emotions right now. I don't really feel like I'm really able to tell this person how I really feel. Okay, if those signs are irrelevant, they're irrelevant. But Aries, I feel like there's like a, a tension with someone here understanding your heart or you possibly being able to express it to someone. And this could be whoever, right? This could be a family member, a lover, a friend, or you know how it goes, whoever, right? <laughs> but either way, I just feel like there's like this tense energy. And I feel like what it's going to do 
right? Because there's always a positive and there's always a negative. What it's going to do, Aries, it's going to put you in a place where it's like, all right, I can't express to this person how I feel. Let me express it to myself, right? And now we're moving into that Uranus energy. Let me express it to myself and let me actually use all of that inner self-expression to work on figuring out how to deal with this situation on my own because I feel like if I express it to this person they may not understand what to do with it right there's a reason why someone's not really understanding you at this time so there could be something that you have to work on within yourself or again a decision you're going to have to make within yourself as well okay but I do feel like when it comes to love right now I feel like there's there's a lot of like especially moving into the next few days I feel like there's going to be like a lot of intimacy like a lot of passion. Maybe you may forgive someone really quickly, right? You may actually just say, you know, I'll let bygones be bygones type thing. Energy here. One more, please. And then we'll lay some energies out for love. Thank you. Free yourself. Always free yourself. Always free yourself. Always know that the door is right there. Free yourself from just... Also, one thing I heard, for some of you, pay attention to the sort of music you listen to. Um, listen to the lyrics and understand, like, is this something that I want to internalize? That's just for someone that's watching. It doesn't have to be for everybody, but pay attention to the sort of lyrics you're, you're listening to. You'll find that most of the lyrics you're listening to, for some of you, you'll find for some of the songs that you're chanting, you're actually manifesting. So be very careful. Like, um, and again, just read the lyrics of the songs, right? Everybody listens to something different, but don't just bypass what you're chanting. I just feel like for some of you, it's like, I'm literally manifesting. We have the magician here. So you're, you're in that manifestation era right now. So being very careful is important, right? I'm not going to just start singing songs about, you know, breakups and, and heartbreak and all that stuff. I'm not doing that. I'm not projecting that into my, into my realm. So be very careful here. Um, also we have a cycle for some of you, you feel like you're constantly going in circles with something, whatever it may be. It could be a relationship. It could be like, I constantly keep on saying the same thing to somebody, or I constantly keep on saying I'm going to do something and I'm not doing it. So be very careful of, you know, this little, um, rat race we got going on here, this horse race, I guess the horse pony, right? This, this circle energy and you'll know best, right? Spirit is saying, pay attention to the red flag. So you're not constantly running in the same circle, doing the same thing, right? Being I don't want to say delusional, but you know what I mean. Just be very careful of how you're repeating things. There's no fun in constantly repeating the same mistakes. Change is amazing. And that's what Uranus is going to bring into um, your life moving into the next year here. Okay? You're going to find like there's going to be a lot of change. Pluto's going to try to help you move out of these changes, but you can't resist Aries. So if it's time for you to stop like doing certain things, you'll find yourself realizing the more intense or intensely moving into the next year like wow this really feels uncomfortable like I really don't like these people or I really don't like the way I eat or I really don't like the fact that I keep going back to this same situation that feels the same good bad 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 right so do what makes you happy all right free yourself all right so let's see what's going on in love and what you could expect in the next four to six weeks here why do I keep feeling like there's going to be a lot of intimacy in the next couple of days? Protect yourself. Have fun. Have fun, though. Have a lot of fun. What's happening here? Some of you are feeling like the relationship I'm currently in or this relationship is just not moving. There's something that's like at a stalemate, Aries, for you. Especially when it comes to that energy of feeling loved by somebody. Yeah. What's happening in love for my Aries, please? Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus signs currently and moving forward. See, there we go. Like, somebody has you hanging. Like, there's a lack of movement here. See that? It's like, you could be connecting with a Pisces, right? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Something happened. Someone's moving very slow. Or this could be their moon sign. Okay, so you could be connecting with like um, a Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, whatever it is, but their, you know, their Mars placement and all that stuff is these signs. Okay, so if you don't hear a sign that you're familiar with, you know, chuck that. But either way here, there's a strong energy of why aren't we moving? 
But Aries, what you start to realize is like, wait, why am I not moving? Forget why you're not moving. Why am I not moving? Like the perspective changes. I free myself. I start to think differently. Like, why am I waiting on you? Why? For what? Right? Like, why? Why don't I just get on my boat and go? As much as it's going to hurt, as much as it may be hard, I have to look into the future. I have to look into the future here. So someone here is feeling like they have to move forward, right? And for some of you, that's going to mean so many, in, you know, so many different things. It could be, again, you start looking at something differently or you start planning out something differently. But this is an energy of love. I do feel like some of you could be connecting again with the Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. And you're waiting for someone here to show you something. Show me some emotion. Show me, show me something real. Right? Like, take me off the shelf. There's an energy of like, I feel like things are not moving nothing's happening here some of you it's like you're literally watching this person just move away from you and you're again in this energy of changing your perspective so that's the positive side of it i don't feel like my aries are going to stay stuck i don't feel like aries is just going to stick around and just stay there on the shelf co collecting dust like what yeah no i don't feel like aries is doing that right every aries that's watching is different but i feel like there's going to be some sort of self-awareness like why am i even hanging out here like i'm i wasn't born for that all right moving into the next four to six weeks and then we'll see how your person feels about you moving into the next four to six weeks get some sleep four to six weeks here there's a decision there's always a decision here look at this there's a decision Someone gives you like a really big hug. You'll find somebody that like, that you could like really just fall into their arms and like really express how much something hurts. This could be like a parent that passed away or one of your angels, but this is an energy of like, let me fall into your arms and cry. Like I'm so afraid of crying to the world. I just want to cry to you. I feel like crying. Like, I feel like there's, like, so much built-up emotions. It's like, let me just cry it out. Let me just cry it out here. Four to six weeks, we do have a decision here. Ace of Swords. It looks like the universe brings something new into your life. It looks like you become a bit more aware of offers that are being proposed to you there's some sort of truth here that's proposed to you ace of swords it's a new beginning right it could be someone from the past if it is it is if it isn't that's fine but i do feel like there is like an offer that comes in this is an offer that's very like stable it could be a raise right and where you actually meet somebody in a new department but i feel like of course this is love i feel like this could be again you speaking your truth here I feel like in the next four to six weeks, you start to make a decision. And I feel like this decision is around someone that you're in love with. Yeah. Someone that you really care about. Someone that you have a soft spot for. You're going to make a decision about it. It could be between two people too, Aries. But I feel like there's like a decision here. Okay. It could be another fire sign or a water sign. But there's a decision about love. Do I pick you or you? May the best person win. Okay, but either way, if it's just one person, there's a decision that you're making with that. And again, there's a truth that's presented to you. How does this person feel about Aries? How do you feel about Aries? So this person feels like they have a very strong connection with you. This person feels like you are, to some degree, their soulmate, right? This could be a Gemini energy, all right, or a Taurus here, or a Sagittarius I'm hearing. But either way here, I feel like there's something that you need to address here. I feel like Aries, one of the things that you have to address is your emotions. Some of you may be mirroring somebody, okay? It's like, I'm not very expressive with my emotions, so this person's not very expressive as well. Um, but I do feel like this is someone that definitely does have emotions for you there's lilies like all around here so someone here might be going through something and you may not even notice it like someone here may be grieving 
so you may get some sort of truth about that so that's your that's your reading aries i love you of course like share subscribe and of course if you're interested in a personal reading i'll talk to you soon have a good one